Now, quote, I never play the gender card. Our industry is not one where I think that's relevant. That's what Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer said in a recent interview about sexism in Silicon Valley. But not all women executives agree. Leila Jana is founder and CEO of Sama Group, which connects impoverished women to jobs in tech. Uh, Leila, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, some say this actually sounds progressive to say stop playing the gender card. You disagree. Why? Well, I, I agree that it sounds progressive to not play the gender card. And I think what I, what I took issue with with Mayor's comment was that gender is irrelevant in Silicon Valley. Unfortunately, it, it's very relevant. Um, we live in an area where um, most of the companies that are, are funded are funded by a VC industry in which 96% of the partners are male. And that number has only changed by one percentage point in the last 20 years. Uh, we also live in a country where uh, we're one of four countries around the world that doesn't have a paid maternity leave policy uh, for all, you know, for all companies. So it's, 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 it is very much relevant. Uh, and certainly the only developed policy that does not have a policy of paid maternity leave. Uh, Leila, I read the piece that you wrote in response. My question was, is it more to do with tech as an industry or the size of the company? Um, I definitely think that the size of the company matters. And uh, Marissa has, has made headlines at Yahoo for increasing paid parental leave and doing a number of other things that make it easier for new parents to, to work at the company. Um, seed stage companies don't have those benefits. I do think that there's, a, that there's a gender issue here. And I think that in any kind of environment where the majority of the funders are men, you're going to see this kind of, of dynamic. Uh, this is issue, of course, has also been in the news with Ellen Powell, who recently lost her discrimination lawsuits uh, in Silicon Valley. She spoke to Katie Couric earlier this month. Have a listen to what she had to say. What are some of the problems women face in the tech industry in general, do you think? I think there are a few problems. One is the difficulty in being taken seriously sometimes. You know, there's often, and it happens in every industry, you know, the woman is assumed to be, you know, the assistant or the, um, junior person. Um, it could be that women, and often women are assumed that they're not technical. So they come in and you, know, you can have an electrical engineering degree, but people assume that you're not technical. Uh, Layla, what's your response to that? Uh, well, I think it's absolutely true. Anecdotally, um, for me and my women entrepreneur friends in the Valley, um, this, this kind of issue plays out at every conference we, we attend uh, in a lot of the fundraising that we've done. I'm, I'm raising money now for a new company, and, and the gender dynamic is extremely relevant. Is it harder to raise money as a woman? Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily harder, but I think, again, in any environment where 96% of the partners who are giving money are, are men, you're going to see some skewed uh, dynamics in practice. I, I just read a stat that 80% of female founders don't rely on venture capital and rely on savings, and I think that's really telling. Wow. Um, Ellen Powell, now the interim CEO at Reddit, recently announced a policy where she said there was going to be no negotiating about pay because women don't negotiate as well as men, and when they do negotiate, uh, their hiring managers hold it against them. Does that move make sense? Absolutely, uh, and I think the data backs her up. I just read uh, Adam Grant, who's a researcher who works with Sheryl Sandberg on the Lean In movement, who confirmed that this that the data show that salary negotiations are overwhelmingly won by men and are one of the reason that men are one of the reasons that men are paid much more in Silicon Valley. Than but men. I've read Lean In. I mean, Sheryl Sandberg <laughs> would tell me to go negotiate for more money. You know, I, I think we can we can ask women to do more, and women are stepping up and doing more. But we also shouldn't allow, you know, if, if we want to have a just society, we shouldn't allow these under these underlying dynamics to persist. And yeah. I think there are legal and institutional things that we can do to make it so much easier for not just women, you know, but but for men who want to lean into being better parents and and who want to you know, play more of a role in their families. Uh, so today is officially Equal Pay Day. Is it just a dirty little secret that women make less in Silicon Valley? It is, and it's, it's interesting because I, I hear this argument all the time that women should lean in more, and if we make less, it's our own fault. Um, I think that it's just frowned upon for women to negotiate the same way that, that men do. And I, I know few women who are as aggressive in those negotiations as men. Yeah. So I think the only way we're going to get to equal pay is by starting to understand the institutional dynamics that lead to this this. And you agree with Ellen Powell that it is held against women when they do ask for more money? I do agree. I mean, I think the research backs it up. Yeah. Uh, Layla, thank you so much for joining us. That's Layla Jenna, the founder and CEO of Sama Group. Tom, I'm going to throw it back to you.